Hello, children of God. My name is Yemi. I trust you are doing well. Thank you for joining me today and for always, always coming back to this channel. Your continued support, engagement, your prayers are invaluable to me. I deeply appreciate your presence here and I'm so thankful for the encouragement and love you share. I am grateful for each one of you. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything you do for me and for this channel. I appreciate you. God bless you abundantly. If this is your first time joining us, welcome to the family of God and to our beautiful community. May the Lord bless you. Let's say a quick prayer before we jump into this message. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you for what you have done for us, for the numerous blessings you have released into our lives, for what you are doing right now in our individual life and in this community, for what you will do for us in the future, what you will accomplish through us for your kingdom and for everything. We we'll say thank you. Lord, we ask for forgiveness for any sins or shortcomings we may have, whether intentional or unintentional. Purify our hearts and prepare us to receive your word with open minds today. Speak your word through me, Lord. Let your word penetrate our hearts and inspire us to act according to your will. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. The Lord is speaking specifically to someone today. For the person this is for, God has told you to do or start something. But you've looked around and seen that many others are already doing the same thing. To you, it seems that they are not thriving or succeeding in that area. And you're questioning why God would ask you to step into the same field. Listen. God is not bound by human limitations or the current state of affairs. His call on your life is not about following the crowd or mirroring what others have done. It is about his divine plan and purpose for you. When God directs you to start something, he's not merely asking you to replicate what others have done. He's inviting you to step into a unique assignment tailored specifically for you. Your sources in this venture will not depend on existing conditions or the apparent failures of others. Instead, it will be shaped by God's specific anointing, God's guidance and his favor upon your life. Consider the story of Joseph in the Bible. Joseph was given dreams of greatness and prosperity Yet his path was fraught with challenges and betrayers. Despite being sold into slavery and in prison, he remained faithful to God. And in due time, God elevated Joseph to a position of great influence, showing that God's plan transcends current obstacles or apparent failures. The same principle applies to you. If God is leading you to start something He's equipping you with everything you need to succeed. The presence of others in the same field or their lack of sources or is irrelevant to God's plan for you. Your journey is unique. It's uniquely designed by God and his purposes will prevail. In this season, God is calling you to rise above doubts and fears. He's asking you to trust in his wisdom. Your obedience and faithfulness in stepping out will unlock doors that have been shut and will bring about breakthroughs that defy expectations. It is not about what others have done. It is about what God is doing through you. So if you've been hesitant or discouraged, I want to encourage you today. Be encouraged. The Lord is with you. His plans for you are filled with hope and promise. Step forward with confidence and know that God's hand is upon you. He will make a way for you. So embrace the assignment he has given you. Step out and watch as he brings about extraordinary results. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plan to give you a hope 
and a future. This scripture assures you that God's plans for you are good. They are filled with promises, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of what you see around you. Proverbs 3 and 5 says, trust in the Lord with your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Don't rely on what you see in the physical or what you don't see in the physical or what people tell you. Trusting God and submitting to his guidance will lead you to big sources. Praise God. This is the word of the Lord for you today. I pray it strengthens you. I pray it's a confirmation for you. I pray it encourages you to rise up and take that step of faith today. God bless you. Lord, we say thank you for your word. Thank you so much for your divine direction. Lord, we ask for strength and courage to step out in faith, even in the face of uncertainty. Empower us to rise above fears and doubts and help us to embrace the path you have set before us, Father. Let your wisdom be our guide and your provisions be our assurance today. Father, bless every endeavor we undertake. May your will be done in our lives and may we see your hand at work in our lives, bringing about results that glorify your name and fulfill your divine purposes. Father, we ask for your favor in every step we take and for your grace to cover us as we navigate the journey ahead in the name of Jesus. Father, I also ask, oh God, I ask that you strengthen our faith and our trust in you. In moments of doubt or difficulty, remind us of your promises and the hope we have in you. Let your presence be a constant source of encouragement and support in the name of Jesus. And Father, as we pursue the dreams and assignments you have given us, may we see your power and faithfulness manifested in ways that exceed our expectations. Father, we pray praise you for your faithfulness and for the extraordinary plans you have for our lives. Thank you for the assurance that despite any obstacles, despite the failures we see around us, your plans for us will prevail and your purposes will be fulfilled. Lord, we celebrate your goodness and we trust that you're working in our lives in ways that are beyond our comprehension in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.